If people could uh, move to your seats, you've got a full program today. I'm Jim Wood, the president of the Getty Trust, and it is a tremendous pleasure, I must say, to welcome you, many of you friends from my earlier incarnations, uh, here to the top of the mountain. This conference um, on preservation and the study of modern and contemporary art is exactly what the Getty, in my opinion, should be doing. It has been three years in the making and utterly dependent on the close collaboration between the GRI, the GCI, as well as our colleagues at the museum. A number of you today, oh, the, the, the number of you today and the distance many of you have come from 16 countries and three continents underlines the importance of our subject. It also makes clear that to tackle such questions, the open and frank dialogue between conservators, conservation scientists, art historians, curators, and artists is an absolute necessity. Such collaboration is at the core of the Getty's mission and essential to the full realization of our potential. The fact that so many of you have taken the time to join us here underlines the fact that when we succeed, we are a village clustered around a lively and shared piazza, not a necropolis dedicated to separate and competitive gods. Our topic also makes very clear the trust's commitment to the art of our time. The living artists that both produce it and have a unique appreciation and understanding of the art of the past, which is an essential source for their creations in the present. An example close to home will be at the Getty Villa this fall, an exhibition of works by Jim Dine, sculpture inspired by 2,000-year-old terracotta Greek statuettes. I would like to thank the organizers, too numerous to name individually, and just say that it is precisely this type of event that makes me feel fortunate indeed to find myself here at the Getty. Thank you, Jim, for that welcome, and uh, good morning to all of you. I'm Jean Marie Tutanico, the Associate Director at the Getty Conservation Institute, and uh, I also feel very privileged to have been asked to make a few opening remarks at this conference, The Object in Transition. I think without a doubt, some of the most interesting thinking and research currently underway in the conservation field regards the conservation of modern and contemporary art. And certainly, although plenty of challenges still remain regarding the conservation of traditional, or we might just say, plain older art, there is a light, at least a relatively large body of research and experience on which to base decisions. Instead, the conservation of art from the 20th and the 21st centuries is very different. The range of materials utilized by artists is staggering, running the gamut from traditional to the almost unthinkable. The behavior and the aging properties of materials are largely unknown. There's almost no experience from previous generations of conservators from which to learn or to evaluate the success of certain treatments. There often seem to be unrealistic pressures to keep much of the work in a pristine state, thereby defying the intrinsic aging properties of almost any material. And in fact, there are many modern materials that, as you know from your own experience, deteriorate so rapidly that works are often rendered unexhibitable in a, a very short time frame. Further, there's, there's no consensus on how much influence the voice of the artist should have in deciding what is to be conserved and how. And there's certainly no unified agreement even on what the research priorities should be or even how they should be determined. So there's a lot to do. All that said, the Getty Conservation Institute is certainly committed to playing an active role in advancing this much needed area of research and thinking into the conservation of modern and contemporary art. I, I think partly, if we're honest, um, because it's incredibly intellectually intriguing as an area of, of study and discourse, but also really because no responsible conservation organization can ignore the growing number of objects from our recent past that require care if they are to survive as a record of our times for future generations to understand and enjoy. As many of you know, for the past five years, the, the GCI has been heavily involved in a research project regarding modern paints, primarily in partnership with Tate in London and the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. 
And one of the more visible outcomes of this research was a symposium entitled Modern Paints Uncovered that was held at Tate Modern in May of 2006 and that some of you actually may have attended. That event was really the first to focus exclusively on the many conservation challenges surrounding modern painted surfaces and I think really marked a kind of milestone for the organizing institutions. With participants from over 35 countries in attendance that ran the gamut really from conservation scientists to paint formulators to conservators to curators to artists, Modern Paints Uncovered provided a, a pretty unique forum for discussing the latest analytical, scientific, practical, and historical research. Um, it also sold out in less than three weeks, even though it had a seating capacity of 250, which I think reflects the, the great hunger for research in this area. And if I may be allowed one short marketing moment, I'm pleased to announce that the proceedings from this symposium have just been published and will be available um, for purchase at this conference. However, I think what has also become clear to us um, as we develop a program of research into contemporary art is that many of the issues faced by the conservation community will not be answered, of course, by scientific research alone, but require the active engagement of colleagues from related disciplines, crucially art historians and curators, among others. And this is not a new thing um, in the field of conservation. This is always important. Perhaps nowhere, though, is this more obvious than in our use of the term artist intent. This phrase is, is frequently invoked by conservators, often as a strongly influential guide for determining an appropriate conservation treatment, even if that intent was recorded decades after the work was completed. However, as our colleagues at the GRI can attest, art historians have for a long time viewed the phrase with a certain amount of trepidation and as a highly problematic interpretive concept. Therefore, as the conservation profession starts to think more critically about how best to incorporate this factor into their decision making, it's clear that a great deal can be gained from cross-disciplinary or interdisciplinary dialogue and exchange. And in fact, in this conference, we hope to foster that dialogue between professionals in these allied but, but different disciplines through the presentation of, of focused case studies, discussions, and panels and to assist in this objective in what I think may be one of the more innovative aspects of this gathering, six objects that will be discussed over the next two days have been brought to the Getty for display in a special gallery of the J. Paul Getty Museum. These include two of the three sections of Ava Hesse's expanded expansion from the Guggenheim Museum in New York, three related paintings by David Novros, two from the Menil Connection, uh, Collection in Houston, and one from the Museum of Modern Art in New York, a rejected Barnett Newman study from the Harvard University Art Museums, and a maquette for Roy Lichtenstein's Three Brushstrokes, the painted sculpture that is now located at the entrance to the Getty Research Institute. And in addition, uh, there is a material mock-up of a section of expanded expansion in the gallery for comparison purposes. And further information about the location of these objects and how to view them is, is in your programs, but also will be given to you in the next session. Um, as Jim alluded, um, Conferences like this, events like this, are always the work of very many people. Um, and this conference has been a close collaboration between the GCI and the Getty Research Institute here at the Getty Trust. And outside collaborators, uh, Carol Mancusi-Ungaro and Elizabeth Sussman, both of the Whitney Museum in New York. And the, the organizing and, and program committees for the conference have been working for over three years to formulate what we hope is going to be a very unique gathering of professionals and objects and we're very, very grateful for the hard work of all of those who participated in making this happen. We also wish to thank all of the lending institutions for agreeing to the rather unusual request to borrow some rather special pieces for only about two weeks. And in this regard, uh, perhaps particular mention really should go to Carol Stringari from the Guggenheim Museum in New York for working with us so closely and so effectively to overcome endless problems and concerns with the complex transport and display of Ava Hess's expanded expansion and we'll, we'll all profit from, from all the hard work that went into making that happen. And, and lastly, but certainly not least, um, we're very grateful, of course, to our colleagues at the J. Paul Getty Museum for organizing the installation of the objects in Gallery E103. They, they truly went above and beyond the call of duty to help us make this conference possible. 
Obviously, this is not the first conference to deal with the conservation of modern and contemporary art, and it's certainly not going to be the last. It's also not the first time that conservators have met with artists, curators, and art historians to discuss some of these issues. However, we, we sincerely hope that the format of this conference involving very focused discussions on the same object, as well as the ability for all conference delegates to view the objects closely and at first hand, will foster the kind of dialogue that will move the, the conservation, the curatorial, and the art historical fields forward. Again, thank you all uh, for attending what we hope will be a thought-provoking conference, especially in this horribly inclement weather, which is somewhat unusual for California. And without delay, I'd, I'd like to hand over the proceedings to Tom Lerner, who is the session chair for this first morning. Thank you very much. <laughs>